So watch yet another example of white people experiencing diversity and doing everything they can to mention race. I found this on Black Pills. Uh, the elderly woman here. hit in the head several times by a Walmart employee a few days ago is now speaking elderly out. Woman. CBS Walmart Walmart employee. Alejandra Palacio spoke with her today, joins us now with the woman's version of what happened. What was supposed to be a quick trip to Walmart for 70-year-old PK Shader turned into a violent altercation. Shader says this kind of behavior from employees is unacceptable and that this situation could have been avoided. It's been quite yeah. a journey. And why heart seller. anyone would do that, I don't know. And why no one helped is even more, especially in a Walmart store. According to the crim... Yeah, it could have been avoided, uh, you know, if we hadn't had the heart seller immigration act or soft on crime this or... <laughs> You know, all that's dumb stuff. And why no one would step in and help will also see see the other reason, the diversity <laughs> and the chilling effect of groups like BLM and surveillance state and all that fun stuff. Criminal complaint. Shader asked to speak to a manager after having a negative interaction with the employee. She'll Seventeen year old Jazaria Velasquez. Shader said she didn't see her name tag and according to the criminal complaint, attempted to take a picture of Velasquez to report her. She went crazy. She flew and she punched me fist right here. Bam over and over again. Velasquez of Racine was charged with aggravated battery to an elderly person and disorderly conduct. Shader said what took her by surprise the most is the lack of people stepping in to help her at the time and that the employees apparently knew of Velasquez's temperament. What if it was your grandmother? What if it was your mother? You can't just yell stop or call the police. The managers knew she was a loose cannon. The yeah, what if it was your grandma? I wish people collectively had said that, you know? You're subjecting, you're going to be subjecting a whole hell of a lot more white grannies to this in the years to come. And there's going to be a whole hell of a lot more people just like standing by and recording world star hip hop and they're not doing anything while they record, you know, or instead of recording. And I, I don't necessarily blame uh, all of them because again, chilling effect brought upon by BLM. All you can really do is just document it. A lot of people probably feel, you know, you step in and you get written house or something. You don't want that to happen. The first one said nothing. The second one told me so. So why do they keep yep. an employee like that? That's a bigger problem than, than not having security. As Shader recovers, she wants people to know that if they see an incident like this break out, to step in and help in whatever way they can. Damn, I just want to tell people, pull out your phone. Give somebody a break. Okay, no one's asking you to dive in and be hurt. But pull out your phone. So nobody actually... And document it and wow. yell. Call the police. Walmart released a statement saying, we want all of our customers to have a pleasant shopping experience in our stores. They went on to say that Velasquez has been suspended and are cooperating with police in the investigation. Shader says she won't live in fear after going through this experience and hopes that others learn from this. Shader also plans on filing a restraining order against Velasquez. Reporting in Mount Pleasant, Alejandra Palacio, CBS 15. Yeah, they won't mention the, the race. Like, like Black Pill says, you know, diversity hire viciously attacks 70 year old white woman at Walmart. Everyone talking about the incident, including the victim, is too cowardly and anti white to mention race. Exactly. Interracial violence is overwhelmingly in one trajectory. It's against who hates. And uh, it's just really, <laughs> it's just really black pilling, I got to say. Um, but yeah. I didn't even know that nobody had documented. I thought that everyone was just standing around gawking with their cameras um, and they didn't release any Walmart uh, security footage. They don't have that. To, I mean, is the only thing she's going to do a restraining order? She's not going to sue the bitch? I mean, like she's like a 17-year-old mixed-race Walmart employee with radical hair. I mean, she probably doesn't have that much. <laughs> You could get her paying in installments for like the rest of her fucking life. That'd be pretty cool. But anyway, subscribestar.com slash Durst the Worst if you have a video request and follow me on New Tech because YouTube keeps giving me strikes and his gades. But uh, yeah, subscribe. Yutch.